Steve, what are you doing, man? Burning bells. Oh, my goodness. We need to have a talk. Feel that, feel that heat. We want to talk about some heat. Yeah. We want to burn some myths. We want to burn some myths and save some bells. All right, let's go have a talk. Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, we were having a, a pretty good discussion, and we decided to film it. You know, we have, we have a lot of discussions every single day as we're constantly uh, here at Main Street Cycle bringing new products. Uh, bringing new things to the table for you as far as performance parts and uh, accessories and just all kinds of great things in the CF Moto world and we're expanding out beyond that. But uh, we were having a good conversation that we wanted to clear the air on a few things as well as talk about a couple of new products that we're going to make available for you at MainStreetCycle.com. Uh, but Steve, if, if you want to kind of share a little bit about what we've been talking about and we'll kind of bounce some things off yeah. of each other and let the people hear kind of what's going on yeah. but what i was what i was trying to talk to blake about we have decided that um you know we we, we want to educate people as much as we can if there's if there is things that come up that people don't understand and they got questions about and uh we see we see some kind of misleading things on facebook and on the internet sometimes and um with, with Facebook, you've got to take things like a grain of salt. Some things is fact, some things is not. But, but all things can be tested and all things can be proven. Yeah. And one of the things that uh, we've heard a little bit is other people talking about belt temperatures. And we, uh, Blake, maybe you could, uh, I know you worked in a shop with Joel yeah, and doing yeah. things a little bit more than I do. But we have a very expensive... <laughs> Yeah. tool that we use that we we measure belt temperatures with that is not available to the to the yeah, retail yeah, public yeah. It's, it's available but it's, it's unaffordable but wh what are we using on our dyno to measure belt temperatures what yeah so that? so we do have a, a really awesome tool that we've used for exhaust temperatures as well as monitoring our clutches and all that stuff so we use a FLIR gun and in the uh, industry out there and bowlers, power bowlers, different things, they use this because temperatures have got to be so precise and this is a infrared technology that does not fail. I mean, it doesn't matter what material you're pointing it at, it doesn't matter any of that, it doesn't affect it like a little cheap laser gun or anything like that. So uh, we use the best of the best to make sure that we're getting accurate data every single time, but it's like like Steve said, that's not you know, you can't go out and buy a soup uh, you know really expensive thousands of dollars on this temperature gun. So we have provided a way uh, for you to be able to monitor your uh, your CBT temperature, your clutches, uh, and because that's been a topic. Yeah. And yeah. So so a few a few weeks ago we decided, hey, we, let's get something affordable for the customer. Yeah. Let's let's get it where the customer can see what we've been telling the whole time that when you install the Main Street Cycle clutch kits, we're going to lower your belt temperatures. And it's a it's a proven fact and it's going to it's going to be proven every time. It's just a proven fact. Yeah. And it don't matter what you read. <clears throat> if you got this flare gun that we've got cost I, I want to say it was over 10 grand. Yeah, it was a lot of money. It was, it was over 10 <laughs> grand. That's not achievable for you guys. But but what we did choose was the Trail Tech temperature, air temperature uh, gauge to, so you can read air temperatures. So we, we installed this. We made a video for you guys. And we want you guys to install this in your side-by-sides because while you're out on the trail, you can be monitoring what's going on in your CV Tech. Now this this does measure air temperature that's coming out of your CV yes. tech. Yes. That being said, in, in order for that air temperature to rise, you have to have belt slippage. You have to have something causing that temperature to rise. If it lowers the belt temperature, then you know we've reduced slippage, which is if air temperature is lowered, you're running cooler temperatures in that CVT. If air temperature is higher, you're running higher temperatures in that CVT. This trail tech gauge does an awesome job at an yeah. affordable price for you guys that want to know what's going on in your CV tech. Is it a direct reading right off of your belt? No, but it is measuring air temperature, which is created with belt, yeah, yeah. Uh, mainly belt slippage. You know, belt yeah. slippage is what causes heat. Yeah, and it's, it's common sense that if your, your air temperature has decreased, 
It's common sense that your belt temperature has decreased because Absolutely. your belt temperature can't rise and air temperature stay the same or drop. Yeah. So anytime you're testing anything, as long as you have the same base standard when you do your initial test versus and you use the same way technique to measure uh, a change or modification that you make, as long as you do the same thing both times, uh, yeah. you know, you're going to have accurate data. And it's, so, just, it's just common sense. Yeah, yeah common, common sense. Common but, but hey, many of you, you know, uh, well, I wouldn't say many, but there's been a few that have actually, you know, requested that we carry the uh, Razorback. Yeah, the Razorback. So, so, so yeah. that's, that's what we're, that's what we're, the main, main thing of this video is to tell you guys we we 100% the trail tech gauge that we put yeah, out there. Right. It's a it's a great affordable easy install. It is it is a great tool for you and it's it's probably the best tool for the common guy to get in at an affordable price and have something he can tell what's going on at CD Tech. <clears throat> but we did learn that there's a few guys that is wanting to measure right off of their belt and know the exact temperature of their belt, which we already know these temperatures with our FLIR gun, we're getting that, and we already know what it is, but we say, hey, if this, if, if we have some people wanting that, then hey, that's what we're gonna get. So yesterday we got, we reached out to them and we got set up as a dealer, and we will, hopefully before this day is over, we'll have them on our website, that'll be something we'll be offering for the guys that wanna do that. It's gonna be a little bit more pricey, a little bit more installation, uh, Still, still, my recommendation is going to be the first one we put out, but this is going to be a great option for you guys that, that do want to get that little bit more and, uh, direct temperature right off of the belt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, just wanted to bring that out. Another thing I wanted to talk about clutch is kit. clutch kits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just know that here at Main Street Cycle, when we do build a clutch kit, we don't, we, we, we're not road riders here at Main Street Cycle. We don't get in these things and go put 40 miles on the road. We're going into ATV parts. We're climbing hills. We're riding mud holes. We, we are doing with these machines what these machines are built to do. Off and we're, road. <laughs> off road, you know. We're, we're, we're trying to see how fast we can get yeah. from here to there, not see how fast we can get here to the next town going down the asphalt road. So, that being said, uh, we want to talk about uh, clutch engagement, and I want to talk about RPMs. Yeah. We have got our clutch kit set at the ultimate RPM. Absolutely. So if you're going down in that mud hole, our RPMs is your friend. Yeah, you don't want lower if, RPMs if, if when you, you're needing power. If you get a low RPM and you go in that mud hole, you just set yourself up for yeah. lots of belt slippage. You yeah. just set yourself up for bog. Yeah, you just, down. You just set right. your You just set yourself up. RPMs is your friend. If unless you are a road rider going town to town, Absolutely. yeah, RPMs. Right. You yeah. need RPMs. You, yeah. you need RPMs to carry you up there. How many of you rode the dirt bikes? You know, I, I don't know if any of y'all's from back in my day when we rode two-stroke dirt bikes. <laughs> can you can you imagine driving up to a hill on a two-stroke? and getting right to the bottom and, and trying to give it gas and climb that hill, you needed RPMs. Yeah, yeah. RPMs is your friend, even on the four strokes. Yeah. Going into this mud hole, we need to be able to keep them RPMs up, keep them tires turning. Going up that big hill, we need RPMs. Yeah, you don't want to bog down going up a hill. If you, if you even go to CF Moto's website and you look through their charts, there has been RPM limits set and CF Moto and even Honda Yamaha players, they all tell you you're gonna make max power at a certain RPM. Yeah, absolutely. No matter what this clutch kit is doing for you, you cannot blow up, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> you cannot blow up your engine because you, you put a clutch kit in it and you cannot, you cannot reach a higher RPM than what that ECM is gonna let you reach. CF Moto put that in place. That's Honda right. put that in place. Can Am put that in place. Your ECM tells that unit, I got to stop here because I get past this, yeah. then I am in danger. Yeah. But a clutch kit does not change the cutoff limit of the RPM. All you're doing, I, I mean, that's, I, I can't even believe that that's a thing. <laughs> but anyway, wanted, I wanted to say that. And then the other thing, 
for the guys that is is doing the road riding, yeah. I am certainly not saying, hey, you shouldn't buy this to road ride. That is not what I'm saying. I just want you to know what Main Street Cycle, so there there may be other people that build clutch kits for other things. Uh, they like they like their thing. We like our thing. But our clutch kits is for the real off-roader, the yeah. guy that's going to the mud holes, the guy that's climbing the hills, the guy that's trying to beat his buddy, trying to see how your 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 zero to thirty, your your zero to these speeds, yeah. not not thirty to eighty. We don't we we've never cared what ours done at eighty mile an hour. Will they get it? Absolutely. But that is not what we do. We are mud riders. We are hill climbers. We are yeah, donut cutters. Yeah. We are we're off road. That's what we want our clutch kit to do. That's what we design them for. Let me throw this in though. If you are the road rider, and that's what you want is a clutch kit that's going to let you go down the highway with the lowest RPMs. Let us know. We'll design a clutch kit just for you. Yeah, it's as, easy. it's as simple as changing the weights. It's the simplest change in the spring. It ain't no rocket science. Let us know if you are a road rider. If you are a road rider, and that's what you do primarily all your time, then you don't need to buy the MSC Stage 3 kit. You need to call up MSC and you need to let us, hey, why don't we make a road kit? Why don't we come up with an MSC? I don't know that we'll call it a stage. We may call it a Stage 4 road kit. MSC yeah. Stage 4 Road Kit. And guys, if, if we do that, we ain't even, this is the first time I even thought about that, yeah, but if we, we do uh, a street kit, road kit, if we do call. that, this clutch kit is certainly not going to be for the mud riders. It's no. certainly not going to be for the guys that's riding off road parts. I'm going to do this. Right. I'm going to come up with a street kit. And it's going to be for the guys that just want to go from point A. We're going to lower your RPMs on your unit. And we're going to give you the smoothest engagement that you could ever possibly have. But guys, that's a that is only yeah. That that it's, it's not it's that it, that would not go good for the guys yeah. off road. Just like the people that's wanting to lower RPMs. It's, I'm telling you, they're going to suffer if they was to come and ride the off road parts and hit the mud holes. Absolutely. Uh, but but that's just a just a quick recap. Yeah, I'm on. I want to. I want to bring in more ways for my customers to measure belt temps. I want them to see what's really going on and not reading and hearing some of the Facebook stuff that's yeah. unreliable. I want them to see facts, truths. Yeah, absolutely. and then you, and then you can then you can make good decisions when you know and you know what's going on. So, a little recap, we're fixing to give you every tool that's available and possible so you can see real belt results. And uh, didn't even have it on my mind when I started, but I, but Main Street Cycle will put together a road kit yeah, for the that. guys that want to because it's, it's literally, so it's, it's just so easy. It'd be ridiculous for yeah. us not to, yeah. but I don't even know who would want that. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's not going to be a big audience that's yeah. going to want yeah. this road kit. Right. But right. anyway, uh, you got anything? Oh, just uh, like you said, we're like we have these conversations daily. We're constantly uh, looking to see how we can help you in the CF Moto community, in the off road community. We're constantly listening. We're we're helping. We're reaching out. We're we're texting. I mean, what other dealership has a text system where you can talk to us and and get a real person to communicate back every single day. I mean, that's what we do here at Main Street Cycle, uh, constantly developing new parts, new things, and bringing things to the table that other people just are not offering, right? If you would just reflect just a year ago, we have pushed manufacturers as well as our own brand uh, to bring things to the table for y'all. And, and we're excited about that because we're passionate about it. And we want to help you uh, customer service is absolutely number one. I would like to speak on yeah, customer go ahead. service. As the owner of this shop, I can tell you, and I and I can tell you uh, without even having a question myself, if you ever have a problem with anything that ever happens at this shop, if we, if we make a a claim and we don't deliver, you need to get a hold of me. Yeah. I I know a lot of y'all contact me on Facebook. I got a lot of friends. We communicate back and forth. I am not the guy out in the shop turning wrenches. So if you have a question about, hey, what's the torque specs on 
so and so, I'm not your guy. If you're wanting to know how much a uh, CF Moto drive shaft is and you're just getting a price, I'm not your guy. But if you, if you have bought something from Main Street Cycle and you're less than satisfied with what, what you got or you don't feel like it's acting just right, uh, you do need to text uh, the shop number and you'll be talking with Rob or uh, some of with, well, there's, there's over 15 people working behind the scenes here on, on that for you guys. Yep. So I don't know which one you'll be talking to, but Rob is uh, he, he's probably one of the, the top ones that y'all know. But if you don't get satisfaction, if you don't if you feel like that you didn't get your answer and you need me to step in, I want you to know that, that that's where I am. That's who I am. That's where I come in is you send me a message on Facebook and let me know what's going on. But uh, you, I personally guarantee you, you will never make a purchase from Main Street Cycle that if you're not satisfied and it's a legit claim, I, I'm just telling you, you will be taken care of. And, we, and this ain't something that just starts today. No. Anybody that's done business with us knows what I'm talking about to be a fact. Yeah. We will take care of you. We will get you your answers. And guys, there's, I just appreciate y'all so much. I appreciate every single customer that's ever bought from us. I can't even put it in words. Without you, there is no Main Street Cycle. Without yeah. you, there is no us selling CF Motos. Without yeah. you, we're not the largest CF Moto dealer in the United States. We, we work very hard for you but you are what put us where we are today. And I tell you, that does not go unseen here. We appreciate you so much. And I know I cut you off. No, that's please, great. Please, uh, that's great. I, I just want my customers to know that I'm here for you. Yeah, I absolutely. want my customers to know they can reach out to the owner of this business. This owner is not the guy that got them torque specs or got them prices, but, but this owner will go to the proper people to be sure you're getting your answers. Yeah. Be sure you're getting your problem solved if there is a problem. Um, you got anything? No, I mean, yeah, that pretty much covers it there. So, so guys, uh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. um, but yeah, I mean, we'll have more to come. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, make sure that you're following us on, definitely join on Facebook. Join the MSC CF Moto group on Facebook. You'll get a ton of interaction there. And that, uh, that is, we do have several Facebook groups and we love and appreciate every Facebook group, but the Team MSC Facebook group is the one that we monitor the most. It is the one that, that we're gonna check 10 times a day and see what's going on. So if you're not a member of the Team MSC Facebook group and you'd like to have more direct links to us, that, that is the one that we, uh, that we spend the most time and effort on. I just thought I'd throw that out. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think that's going to do it, guys. We got a lot of work to do. We just were having this conversation and wanted to, hey, let's video this. We yeah. need the people to see just a little bit of what happens every single day as we talk, we, we make decisions, and then we make things happen. So, uh, anyways, we're going to get to work. Uh, God bless y'all. As always, remember to keep it real. Billy, if you're watching this video, <laughs> We're gonna to have to have a Team MSC Stage 4 Road Kit. We're gonna need you to get started, sir.